Hello, and welcome back. This has been on the back burner for, I think, nearly two years now. Or at least a year and a half, but it's been way, way, way too long. I've been really wanting to play this game again for so long. But, I finally have the time to get back to this. And, no, I'm not going to play... I'm not going to play any, any PS4 games until I get this. Except for my, uh... Uh, except for Dead Rising, which is I'm, do I'm doing right now. Now, just a note, since it has been so long, I did go back, I cleared my entire data completely, and I decided to change things. I didn't really change anything, really, except for the character's name. Instead of Chara, it is now Frisk. No, it's not Frisk with an SK, but with an SC, because I don't want to get... Because SK is way too hard, at least for my level anyway. But still, I want a uh, character named Frisk. So, here we go. Our character's named Frisk. So, I did uh, play all the way back to here. Of course, it didn't take very long, only a little over an hour. But still, it's it'll be good to get back into this. Hello, Traveler, how can I help you? Bye. Tough glove. We're not going to be needing any weapons, since this is still the pacifist run. Now, that's cool. We can have that eat twice. 22 HP, but... That one's... I just love this music so much. It has abs on it. We'll take the manly bandana. We'll also take the biscuit cool. More healing for less the price. Talk. Say hello. Hi, welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? What to do here? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Groby's has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and... asserted themselves. The town's gotten a lot more interesting since then. Town history? Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the old, they liked the cold and set up camp in Soden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door has been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost, you can't burrow under the door forget about. So is he talking about the door we came from, or uh, the door we found on the way here with the three triangles? I'm not sure. Your life. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic, but we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. That's life, ain't it? 
Dark exit. Why now? Come again sometime. So, as you might have noticed, the volume is a lot better. Now, back in my past videos, there was uh, uh, some people asking about the volume, if I can uh, get it fixed. At the time, I wasn't able to fix it. Not because I didn't want to, but because the system just wouldn't let me. How however, with these new recent updates, and we'll be using this uh, broadcast for the first time in a long, long, long time. There's now video, there's now sound mixing, better volume controls. So that is, that is taking care of itself. So I'm very thankful for that. It'll, it'll be a better experience for all of us. The sight of such a friendly town fills, fills you with determination. So, I am extremely late to this party, but I'm sure someone's gonna gonna find a whole lot of entertainment in this. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Let's see here, I was gonna say something before, but... Wait a minute, what was I gonna say? Um... Oh, this can be bugging me. Uh, I'll think of it all the way. Welcome to Snowden Inn, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80 gold. Um. Well, feel free to come back anytime. We'll do that a little later. Don't walk. Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They're efficiently laid out. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest? Bun buns are so adorable. Tee -hee. Bunnies having bunny bunnies for pets. This is a very interesting world. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its trees like its tree like horns. So he started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Oh yeah, I remember what I was gonna say before. Um, even though I'm just now getting back to this, I briefly considered waiting because for the PS4. Undertale is coming uh, to my favorite console, but I think I'll probably just do a genocide run on that. I don't know, or maybe I should just do a genocide run like this, as normal. Uh, I'll let you guys uh, tell me, tell me which what would be better. But I, I'm definitely gonna be getting that collector's edition. I have to get that collector's edition. And there's one really specific reason why. And it's because I want that locket so bad. The locket with his theme on it. I just, I would love to have that locket and just carry it with me around my neck wherever I go. Everywhere. My brother is uh, a bit of a musician. He plays uh, some piano, some uh, guitar. Uh, he'd really love to uh, have the mute, the, what is it, uh, sheet, sheet music that comes with it. And of course, I want the art book as well. It's 
a great package that I really, 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 really want. I've never wanted a collector's edition so badly. Even though I haven't played the game, I, I do know the music to the game. It's it's unavoidable. And of course that does mean spoilers, but I've already said before I've been spoiled on certain things, but I'm actually not 100% spoiled on everything. And I know there's actually a lot more surprises than I'm uh, that I know for certain. And I don't know how to beat it, beat all the bosses either. So that's going to be uh, that's still going to be a challenge and puzzles for me to work out on my own. So I made sure not to uh, spoil myself on that or on any of the actual main boss battles. I don't know how those actually work. I don't know how they fire or anything like that. So. We're still good on that. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell Fish Lady about it. That's politics. Tell you what, politics has gone really crazy in the past... ...year? Two years? It's just... Everything's just nuts now. And I'm not talking about one specific party either. I'm talking about everywhere I go, everything is nuts. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and hot guys. You better watch where you sit down here, kid. Because that big guy will jump into your lap and give you lots of love and attention. We're centuries, but we never get any respect. I wish the skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. Hmm. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. And when you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. Hmm. Open a new kinds of food. I always like to try experiment in my food. I'm thinking of getting a spike collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. Huh. Okay. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. So that's what that fishing pole is for. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. Those royal dogs are part of the royal guard. The elite military group led by Undyne. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Grilb said that they that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. The capital is getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're move going to start moving here. Hmm. I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slipping onto their butts. Well, that's unfortunate. Everyone's always laughing, cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern Christs. Cheeriness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything, so why be morose about it? Let's play Monsters and Humans! 
Ah, to be young again. The world sure felt boundless. Must be a snow slime. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ice blocks. Now we have a library. That look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of. Well, the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Okay, the, this is backwards. We'll get to that in a second. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on in that thing. Uh, am I at the page minimum yet? I'm kind of sick of writing this. <laughs> While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. Because they are made of magic, monster bo monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul uh, is struck with the desire to kill... Um, what's in the chapter here? Alright, now, Monsters Part 4. Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh, cold, damp, swampland, and searing heat, until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know, the sign is misspelled. Library. B. Some mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Inside? Yes. It's empty. Of course. What? What? Alright, before we go on, let's go ahead and state the end. And save.
Oh, that's not going to be very nice sleep. Hiya! You look like you had a great sleep. Which is incredible because you were only up there for about two minutes. Here's your money back. You can pay me if you're going to stay overnight. Human. Allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another's puzzle solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your. No. No. This is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful. Powerful. I mean, popular. Prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. Alright, here we go. Papyrus blocks away. Check. Fires. Okay. He likes to say, Nehehe. <laughs> Nehehe. <laughs> of course. Pirates whispers, Nehehe. <laughs> okay. We are going to insult him. Alcephalus. You want me to feel better about fighting you? I don't deserve such hospitality from you. Fire the Paris, a non bone attack that spends a minute fixing his mistake. Nah, let's try insulting him. There's no need to lie to yourself. Your bards hide a hidden affection, you emotional cactus. Fire's trying hard to play it cool. Let's do this. What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. Um, I have zero redeeming qualities. Oh no, that humility! It reminds me of myself. You are meeting all of my standards. A state later, after I capture you. I did that for the hilarity of it. <laughs> Insult? Don't! Don't waste your words on me. What to cook for state? Okay. Insult? You insult, but to no avail seems acting won't escalate this battle. Don't waste your words on me. Fair. So you won't fight? Then let's see. 
if you can handle my stable blue attack. You're blue now. That's my attack. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Real fight begins. So should I just keep on trying to spare him? Hmm. I wonder what it should wear. Perhaps Dab's MIT brand of fishy cream behind his ear. What? I'm not thinking about that big thing. He does more dabbing. Insult. Fire's too busy fighting to accept your insults. Yeah, don't let me use my special attack. I can almost taste my future popularity. Ow. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard. Unparalleled spaghetti or help. The virus realizes he doesn't have ears. For that time, Undyne will be really proud of me. Trying hard to play it cool. A king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. The fire's rattling his bones. My brother will, well, he won't change very much. Pirates cackling. I have lots of admirers, but will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Okay, let's get some of the... Yeah. Oh yeah, we forgot to equip that bandana, didn't we? Someone like you is really rare. be kind of hard. Ow. Fire switches. <laughs> After you're captured and sent away? Well, that really hurt. Fire is trying hard to play cool. Ugh. Who cares? Gives up.
Yeah, I timed that really wrong. Let's eat the rest of that. Unicycle. Give up or face my special attack. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack! Ow! Fire is rattling his bones. Not too long and I will use that special attack! Fire is rattling This is your last chance before my special attack! Um, the nice cream. Let's try shouldn't have a hug. You recover 15 HP. Okay. Behold my special attack. What the heck? That's my special attack. Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop marching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here, my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. It's getting ready for regular attack. Uh, here's an absolutely normal attack. <laughs> well now. And there goes the pathetic one. Well, <laughs> it's clear. You can't <laughs> defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you, and I will spare him. No, ho, ho! I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Eh, let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, we haven't even had our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. <laughs> Oh. Um. Get wrecked. Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. Yeah, don't go doing that to the people in the town. They probably wouldn't appreciate that. I hereby grant you permission to pass through. And I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all in the ground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. And that monster's gonna return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. 
I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the burial stuff. Anyway, that's enough talking. I don't want to be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> Did he just walk on water? Okay. Alright, let's go back, save, and see if we can go back inside that house. Please don't enter this mysterious shack. You should learn a privacy. So he came back to have a date with me? You must be really serious about this. I have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. And where are we going? My house! I should have saw that coming. Now, what's going on in that door? Impressed, I increase the height of my sink. Why? Now I can fit more bones under, under, take a look -see. Well, there goes the bones. What? Right, catch that meddling canine. Curses. Sands room, okay. Sands, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. Aha, uh -huh. interested in my food museum? Please, first my culinary art show. Half the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd. There's an empty pie tin inside the stove. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit it anytime. Okay. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Now, put it back down, move it. Okay. You move it two inches, move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Did you say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. You touch the couch, it makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20 gold. Okay. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Go inside? No. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. The door is locked. Welcome to Scenic My House. Enjoy and take your time. Well, I've already done everything. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we could go in. Okay, we already done that. Go inside, yes.
Look at those figures over there. Great. Those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. Wind in my hair. Sun on my skin. And of course, that's just a dream. So instead, I cruise while I snooze. So, this gets me thinking. What's the time period here? Um, I see everything from faucets, uh, bathrooms, refrigerators, car beds. It has to be at, at least 1990s or 80s, if not if not more than that. So this is an interesting world in that these monsters have existed side by, well, not, probably not side by side, but exist alongside humans for at least the longest time. Oh, and there's a computer. I didn't even see that till now. Ah, yes. Action figures. A great difference for the theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. So it's sans. Oh, Santa! That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. Our next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. The internet! I'm quite popular there. Okay, so it is definitely, definitely at least uh, roughly mid-90s. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower counter. Of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Ah, he got hacked. Oh, he's sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Now that, that's definitely sans. There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the day? I guess, do I have, have a choice? Okay, dating start. Uh, but don't worry. They can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rulebook from the library. Is this all because I just hit burning once just for the fun of it? Okay, we'll go with it. Oh, but I love this music so much! Hmm. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating hub. Okay. Um... Wowie, I feel so informed! I just feel confused. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human. I, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Um... Well, we're, we're started on this course. Let's just go right through it. Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. I don't... The guy is so stupid, but I don't want to bring him down. Put on nice clothes and show you care. Wait a second. 
wear clothing that bandage hate it hanging off of you. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No, gonna be. You wanted to date me from the very beginning. Okay, that we know. Despite that, you chose to wear clothing today. Of all days. Was your interest in me? Ugh. No! Your dating power! What is going on? I have no idea what's going on, but it's hilarious. Near, near. What? I don't think you bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody hasn't asked me on a date. Behold! There! What do you think of my secret style? Eh, I like it. No! A genuine compliment! However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and inspect the Z. Okay. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Extra tip, all clothing articles can be improved this way. My hat. My hat. My hat. Yeah. Well then, you found it my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just for you. I'll open it. Uh... No idea. Yeah, that's right. You have no idea. Though this appears to be spaghetti. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan work. Sip and spaghetti finally aged in open cast. Then cooked by me, Master Chief of Pyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. I'll eat it. Take a small bite. Your face reflexively scrunches up. It is indescribable. What a passionate expression! You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do! Arr! Arr! No! I have no idea what that was, but that was awesome. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Really? Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you, I Papyrus. I, um, boy. Is it hot in here, or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like. Romantically, I mean. I mean. I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I had the great papyrus, and it failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only brawn, drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No! Wait, that's wrong! I can't feel anything. Human! I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend. And act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. 
because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and you ever need to reach me? Here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. Platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. Well, that was a thing. Door is locked. Here, let me check my stats real fast. Let's go to the N. Oh boy. Is that supposed to be making some kind of tune? <laughs> I'm so glad I can do this and not have to pay. Okay, I think I'll wrap up this session right here. Alright, we're going to... Next time, we're going to do a little bit of exploring, and then we're going to move on to the next section. Alright, so... Uh, this is Landsake Storm 5. Have a good day, and stay frosty. Bye.